Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my July wrap up. So in July, I read 12 books. I read one five star book, two four star books, five three star books, three two star books and one one star book. And I had a pretty good reading month, not in terms of um, how much I was enjoying the books but I did get a lot of reading done that mainly had to do with the reading rush the fact I went away on holiday um the fact I've I'm between jobs so I'm not actually doing anything with my day um so yeah that has sort of helped me read a lot more that should hopefully be the same case in August um because I'm sort of chilling until the 20th so I should be able to get a lot more books read in August. Um, if I start out by talking about my TBR tortoise picks, um, if you haven't seen my TBR and you're a bit confused about what my tortoise is I will link it up top for you. Um, but I picked three books out, Gerald's Game by Stephen King which I did read and we'll get on to, um, The Creeper Man by Dawn Kurtigich which I did get on to and I'll talk about, and Legendary by Stephanie Garber, which I'm currently about 40% of the way through. And I'm not, it's the 31st of July today and I'm not gonna finish it by the end of the month. Um, I am enjoying it, but not enough to force myself to read it. So I'm just gonna come back to it at some point in the future. But that is how I got on with the three books. Um, because I started Legendary and I haven't quite finished it, I'm not counting that as an absolute fail because I have given it a go. Um, it's just not quite sitting with me at the moment. But on to the books that I did read, I'm going to just talk you through them on the dates, in the order that I read them, um, because a lot of them are series and it won't make sense to talk about the third and second before I've spoken about the first. first book I read this month was We Are Legion, We Are Bob by Dennis E. Taylor. This was my travelling book club um, pick for this month. Um, so I read this book and gave my comments and passed that on to the next person in the group. I didn't hate it. Um, but I did give it two stars. Um, it wasn't my cup of tea. I don't really do sci-fi. It was heavily sci-fi compared to what I'd normally read. Um, and so I just didn't really enjoy that aspect of the story. I don't like being completely clueless. Um, but I did enjoy the experience of reading a book that somebody else had given me and adding my comments. I did find that really fun and I can't wait to do it for the book this month. But that sort of sci-fi, not really my thing. The next book I read was Professed by Nicola Rendell. Um, I did give this book three stars. I did quite enjoy it. This was about a um, girl meets teacher, doesn't know that the teacher is a teacher when they get together, ends up being her teacher. It's like a college professor thing, so it's not as bad, um, rather than like a high school teacher. Um, and it was all just like the forbidden romance sort of story. And I did really enjoy it. There was nothing profound about it. It wasn't written amazingly as far as I'm aware. Um, but I just had a fun time reading it. I love reading rubbish like that. So definitely give that one a thumbs up. Um, not for five star material, but if you're up for a quick read, forbidden romance, definitely a good book. Next book I read, and I've just forgotten my prop, bear with. Brought my cup of tea because I am spilling the tea. I hate that phrase, but I read Gerald's Game by Stephen King and I gave it two stars. I did not enjoy that book really at all. Um, the There were long chapters, there were short chapters. The short chapters, I loved. I could speed read them, no problem. Long chapters, I just got so lost and bored. But I think my main problem with this book is that nothing happened, really. It was long. It took me, a, well, I was away on holiday, so I think it would have taken me a lot longer if I was at home. It took me two days of pure reading to read and nothing happened. So yeah, I think I upset Nicole slightly. <laughs> Sorry, Nicole. Um, but yeah, not my cup of tea. Get it? <laughs> the next book I read was After by Anna Todd. I gave it four stars. Everyone hates this book um, and I can see why. I can see the major problems with it um, in the sort of themes that it talks about and how they're dealt with. 
but I can't lie to you. I read it in a day. I didn't move. I just sat and read the book and I loved it. Um, I loved it so much that the next book I read was um, After We Collided by Anna Todd, number two. Um, but yeah, the first one gave it four stars. Really enjoyed my time reading it. This is about a girl called Tessa who goes off to college and meets a guy, Hardin, who is the typical bad boy who she shouldn't get involved with. And I think we all know where the story goes from there. Um, but yeah, loved it. And I can only say sorry for accepting all the things it talks about and doesn't deal with right. But I loved it. I'm sorry. Um, but after we collided, book number two, I did give three stars instead of four, mainly because it just went on too long. So the first book was long in itself. I'm not sure exactly how many pages it was. I'm just going to look into that. Book number one was 582 pages. So that is already quite a lot for a YA romance. Book number two was 688 pages. I think it did take me two days to read that one. And um, that was quite a book. But yeah, that is just too long for a YA romance, seeing as a lot happened, but it was a lot of the same thing over and over again. Um, did still really enjoy it, gave it three stars, couldn't put it down physically, couldn't leave the book alone. Um, but yeah, not the best written thing ever, I won't lie. The next book I read was Book Ninja by Ali Berg and Michelle Callas. I always think I've said that wrong. Um, this was the first book I read as part of the reading rush. Um, and I read this while I was away on holiday, sat by the pool, and this was my book to read, sat in the same spot the entire time. Um, I gave this three stars. It wasn't anything special for me, but I did speed through it. So this is about a girl, I've completely forgot her name. Not a clue, that's bad. Never mind. I read a lot of books last week. Um, who is struggling to find a boyfriend. Um, so her new plan is to leave her favourite books on public transport with her contact details towards the end so that when a person reads the book, when they get to that and if they want to talk to her about it and get to know her, that's how they'd get in touch because she was saying that all of the people she's meeting aren't very intelligent, they don't like the same things as her. So if somebody sees her favourite book on public transport, picks it up, reads it and gets to the end, then they're going to be her cup of tea. So really enjoyed it. I thought the story was a great idea. Um, the love interest in this book is actually only interested in YA and he's supposed to be like a 35 year old man. So that was really fun to read because she was saying how awful YA is and how it doesn't really do anything for books and reading. Um, and he argued the other side and then they come to like, they just talk about it quite a lot throughout the book. So I did find that really interesting um, because there are a lot of the opinions that you see every day on the internet about reading YA when you're older. Um, I used to not care because I was still in the age range for YA and now I'm out of it. I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna stop. I still enjoy it. Like there was a 35 year old man who loved Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, so never mind. But yeah, good idea for a story. Um, just wasn't really, anything I'm not gonna say the word again it wasn't anything profound about it it was just fun and a laugh to read the next book I read was Vendetta by Catherine Doyle um, I gave this book two stars I really didn't like it so this was pitched as a modern Romeo and Juliet retelling um, it was about a girl again I can't remember her name I'm sure all these books have had girls with the same name and I'm just lost um, but her dad has gone to prison and he has left her the family diner to um, more sort of own, but her uncle's helping her out. And then these five brothers come into the town and she's warned to stay away from them. Um, she doesn't, obviously, otherwise the book would be ever so boring. Um, and then there's a lot of, I don't want to give a spoiler, but that all sounds like a very typical YA book. And then they throw in just some insane stuff that doesn't really need to be there. It didn't really add anything. But like the reasons why she shouldn't deal with this family were just a bit unrealistic, really. Um, as far as I'm aware, I could just be being naive. If you've read the book, you'll know what I'm on about. And if you don't care about being spoiled, please do let me know in the comments because I'll tell you what I mean. Um, but yeah, just wasn't really the best so I do like a good YA romance you can see how much I liked after um but yeah just wasn't really my cup of tea so it ended up on a two star rating 
Next I had my only five star read of the month and that was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I loved this book. Um, it was adorable, it was heartbreaking. Um, so this is about a woman who works um, in a cafe and the cafe closes down. So she is desperate for work. Um, she tries a lot of stuff out and sees a vacancy for a carer. Um, so she has to take it because she's on, uh, she finds it through the job centre and she's on job seekers allowance. So she has to take this job. She has to go to the interview and give it a go. Um, and it's actually a carer for a young man called Will, who's been in a car accident while he was hit by a car. And it's meant that he's lost all control of his arms and legs, but he is still a very young man. And she has no medical responsibilities. It is just to keep this man company. And it was adorable. I've watched the film um, and I watched it again for the reading rush and it broke me and even though I know how the film ends when the book ended I just sobbed it was far too emotional but I think if you haven't given this book a go definitely do and um, there are further books in the series to this I don't think I'm going to give them a go um it don't I don't really feel like it's something I want to carry on with but this individual book as a standalone loved it absolutely loved it next book I read was my only one star rating and that was The Creeper Man by Dawn Kurtigich so that is um the one from my TBR tortoise I hated it um in my opinion it was dreadful but everyone's allowed their own opinion this was about a girl who runs away from home with her little sister um, because she is in an abusive household. So she runs away with her sister to her auntie who lives in a manor in the middle of a wood. And there's a myth that in the wood there is the creeper man who will come and take you if you go in the wood. Um, the auntie starts going crazy and then the main character starts going crazy. It was a good premise. I didn't like it. I didn't get it. The ending made me scream with anger. Um, yeah, not the best. I've heard that she has written other books that do sound quite interesting. Um, but this one, no. I hardly ever give one star ratings, but this was on a two until the ending and then it was a definite one. Not a fan. Next was The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This book I gave three stars. Um, this book was about a young girl who, when she was very young, so I think it was about seven or eight, she is raped by her brother's friend. And the whole book is about her growing up and coming to terms with what happened, um, because she doesn't tell anybody when it happens, and it's how that impacts her on her teenage years, really, um, and her relationships with boys and like how they differ from normal because of what has happened to her so i know you're not supposed to enjoy this book for the subject um but i didn't really enjoy my time reading it i don't think it was written in the best way um i didn't really like it but so i did give it three stars because i thought it was important i read it very quickly um so there must have been something right but it just wasn't really my I've read better books on the subject, let's say, um, that I've enjoyed my experience a lot more, whereas this one, it did feel like a bit of a chore. Um, but then again, three stars, still an absolutely fine rating. There is nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't particularly for me. Next, we have the third book in the After series, which is After We Fall by Anna Todd. That book was 848 pages of YA romance. I'm starting to think if I didn't read the After series, I would have read so many more books this month because they're just so long. Um, so After We Fell carries on from After and After We Collided. Nothing really new happens. It's all the same thing over and over again with a couple of added twists. I gave this book three stars. Some of the twists and turns were very predictable, including the, the major twist um, that I guessed it like in the book before so it wasn't really a big giveaway um, but yeah it was fun I still enjoyed reading it but 848 pages for a YA romance is far too long it could have been two separate books and I would have read them but yeah too long so three stars finally everything I never told you by Celeste Ng I gave 
four stars. This book I did really enjoy. I don't typically read a lot of adult books as we were talking about the YA lover in me um, but yeah I gave it four stars I really really enjoyed it I don't know what it needed to do to get five stars sometimes I know exactly what was missing this one I'm just not sure um, but I did enjoy my time reading it this is about a Chinese American family um, and their daughter goes missing and it turns out she has um, died in a lake by their house so she's found drowned in the lake um, which is obviously quite distressing um, and a lot of the story is just backstory on the mom and dad but I, I lapped it up loved it so I was buddy reading this with Brittany from the Never Ending Reader she hasn't finished it yet so when she does we can have a bit more of a chat about it um, but yeah just really enjoyed it as somebody who doesn't read adult books and it sort of motivated me to pick up Little Fires Everywhere which is um, Celeste Ng's other book um, which I did try and read and couldn't quite get into it. So getting into everything I never told you has prompted me to want to read her other, her other work. So that's it, 12 books in a month. I'm very, very happy with that, I really am. Um, next month is the Newts, so I already have my TBR video live for that, but I will link it up top for you as well in case you wanted to see that. There will not be a TBR tortoise because I'm picking enough books just for the Newts anyway. Um, but I am very very excited to take part in that and I'm sure I can even smash my 12 book target I can definitely try so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one